All right, what is up, my brothers? In this video, we're gonna have a conversation about women's committees. The concept that women use committees to make a lot of decisions in their lives is not understood well, so I'm hoping this video will bring some clarity to those that don't understand the significance and the gravity of a woman's committee. Women make decisions not independently as men do. Men think quite differently than the way that women do. We often sort of just reconcile ideas ourselves and you know we go forward with it but often with women there's a committee if we're being honest they need to run ideas up a flagpole they need to get the approval and you know the head nod of their girlfriends their friends the colleagues from work their family members even sometimes online let me kind of open this with a fair example because many moons ago I was dating this gal and she did the whole let's get together with my girlfriends we're going to a nightclub and you know we can meet everybody and you know hang out drink and dance and all that sort of stuff and I'm like all about it at that time so I get a couple friends together you know we meet up with them down at the nightclub we've been dating for quite a few months at that time you know she had the talk where do we stand I want to claim you I don't want to share you sort of stuff fine all that good stuff but I hadn't met her friends yet and I think this is probably before social media so this is gonna date me a little bit but the committee concept still remains the same and you know we all got together at this club had a good time you know drinks were fine dancing was fine everything was good but then I get a phone call call the next day and this girl I'm dating is pissed off and I'm thinking why like what's the problem we had a good time last night you know she spent the night everything's good but then I get this call the next day and she says so and so called me this afternoon and told me these things and I'm a little upset about it and I want to talk to you about it I'm like Okay, well, what could I have possibly done that was wrong to frustrate and annoy this woman today? Anyway, so she proceeds to tell me that her friend saw me when I was going to the bathroom and I apparently ran into another girl who gave me, you know, the goo-goo eyes. Basically, like, I knew her and that I was blowing her off. Now, when you're in a nightclub, people look at you. Sometimes they look at you longer than they would normally look at you. That's just how things go in nightclub type of situations. But the way that her friend posed it was, she basically tried to structure or manufacture drama or indignation, as they say, between me and the gal that I was dating because I didn't get her nod of approval. One of her best friends from her committee didn't give me the nod of approval. She didn't like me for whatever reason. It doesn't matter why, I don't care. But that's the power of the committee. So she proceeds to tell my gal at the time that this girl clearly knew me, that I was dating her, and that I had brushed her off or to the side to proceed to, you know, go into the bathroom sort of thing. And there was a look of like distrust or distaste in her face, you know, for example. Now, there was no girl that I ran into that night that I had been dating or a prior dating. This was all made up in her head, and it was more than likely probably a lie. I mean, it's entirely possible that I was walking to the bathroom and this chick checked me out or smiled at me and I didn't even give her the time of day and just kept going. That's, that's how it goes when you're at a nightclub and you're drunk, right? You don't really care. But women like to either pick up on these minute details or they'll take them and they'll blow them up and they'll make an entire mountain out of a molehill. So the power of the committee cannot be underestimated. Women make a lot of life decisions, a lot of relationship type of decisions, a lot of decisions in general, not by themselves. They generally have to do it with the consensus of a group of other people. I've seen women go as far as using online platforms like Reddit, for example, where they'll, you know, this is the problem between me and my husband, my boyfriend, this guy that I'm dating, this, that, and the other thing. And it usually boils down to, a bunch of women in the chat in the comments saying the exact same thing. Oh, you can do better, girl. You should dump him. The guy's a loser. He's a mama's boy or something like that, right? It's very rarely positive. The interesting thing about women is they don't really want to see you have successful relationships because then it removes you from their group, especially if they have this little party sort of clique element to it, like they're still in the party years. If you're the guy that's going to remove her from that clique in her party years, which is probably what I was doing at that time because it was still in her 20s at that time. She was a little bit younger than me. If you're a threat to that clique, if you're a threat to that committee, if you perhaps might be a great option for her and the gal or the girls in her committee that are offering advice or feedback are nowhere near or nowhere close to getting a high status guy, then it's entirely possible that because of jealousy and envy, they might do things like this. And to be honest with you guys, it's difficult to manage. There's very little that you can do about it except say, stay steadfast on your purpose, on your mission, and what it is that you're doing without any sort of wavering or, oh, I'm sorry, or, you know, that's not how it is, or let me prove to you, or any of those things. It's just, 
be on your purpose. You know, women are going to flander. They're going to come and go. They're going to push and pull. They're going to play these games. They're emotional creatures. They don't think with rationality. They think more with emotion. And as we just talked about, they also think on a uh, collective basis. They don't think, generally speaking, individually, especially if they rely strongly on a collective to make decisions. This gal that I was dating at the time, the girls that she had brought out that night, her friends, were all from high school. So they had all been together for quite a long time, hanging out for quite a long time. And you know, like lo and behold, most of them were for the most part pretty much single, except for the gal that I was dating. And you know, she was the kind of gal that was like serious about long-term relationship. I'd like to have a, a family at some point, like one of those gals. So, you know, she's trying to square away what it is that she wants out of life, but her friends are actually holding her back and not allowing her an opportunity to achieve that and more out of life. Committees are very powerful. Same thing with family members. If there's a family member that you rub the wrong way, you can you know, rest assured she will 100% side with the family member. You've got to get good as a guy from the perspective of uh, charisma and being charismatic with people. This isn't just a skill, by the way, that you need to learn and be good at with women. You have to have this skill in life in general. If you're not charismatic and you can't win over people, you're not gonna do very well in life and in business, and especially with women too, but you have to have a certain degree of charisma, a certain gravitas, if you will, to pull people in. Um, and that's quite easy to do when you've done the work on yourself and you become a top shelf man and you're starting to put your little dent in the universe, you're doing those little bits and pieces of work in your life. When you arrive, people already know who you are. At this point in the game, at my age, with my level and what I've been doing, it's very easy to Google me. Like if I was single today, and I was dating, it would be very, very easy for women to Google my name, look me up, find my YouTube channel, you know, videos and all that sort of stuff. And some of it might rub people the wrong way. I've also had, you know, a fair portion of women that also say, you know, I really like your shit. You know, I like what you're all about and I strongly support it. And I think that you're doing good things in the world. The vast majority won't like it though. And that's totally fine. You can repel those people. And if you're a guy with options, that's actually really good because you want to remove people, women, women and their committees that are losers, that are gonna hold you back, that are gonna potentially invite havoc and chaos into your life. At the end of the day, the committee exists. There's not much that you can do about it. So one of the considerations that I think guys need to make, especially when contemplating a long-term relationship or making a woman the mother of your children, for, for example, is to make sure that you've won the committee over. And I'm not saying, you know, do it in the sense where you have to like, you know, bend over backwards or jump around like a monkey to placate them and like, make up all these reasons why they should like you. Do you do the things that make you you, continue to chase excellence and put that dent in the universe and let your reputation, let your skills, let your virtues as a man speak for you long before you even enter that room. The aura that you give off in confidence, standing up straight, being able to put a dent in the universe and things like this will do you immense amounts of favors. This is why I continuously harp on this topic of doing the work as guys. You cannot relax, you cannot cruise through life. You always have to make next year better than the last. However that looks like for you, you can decide whether that's physicality, wealth, or all of those things combined. But all of these components matter, and you've gotta understand the notion and the reality that a woman's committee exists. Again, I'm not saying bend the knee to it. I'm not saying, you know, become a pussy and placate to it and give it exactly what it wants. But you have to understand that the existence of it is real and that it's not going away anytime soon. And women will and always will continue to, in the future, rely on a committee for advice on matters of love, relationship, even career choices, travel, all of these things. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love. The fake is if you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up.